How's it going? On, okay. Oh my god, this is incredible. Wow. How many actions? Very good. Balo action. I'm Good, good. That's lovely. Kim, come and action, you guys. Hello, hello. We are back with another one. Live and direct here from Chittagong, one of the big main cities here in Bangladesh. We are happy to be here. As you might have seen from the last vlog, you can watch it right here. They arrived last night here. We got here pretty late, so we kind of just crashed, ordered some food panda, and went to bed, and that was it really. So now, we are heading out today. It's been a bit of a life admin day, but we're going for some lunch right now, because we are hungry, like always, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're sorry if you guys can't hear us right now because there's a lot of traffic. It is busy, busy, busy. <laughs> wow. There are just as many rickshaws, just as many tuk-tuks, as many buses here. It is like a mini darker for sure. Super busy, but there's also this. I don't know if this is like an expressway, like a flyover, or a train. I don't really know, but... Hey. So that was absolutely fine. It weren't exactly that busy down here. It's a different story. It's a, a bigger city, busier, more traffic. Oh my days. Flow. More people, hey. more lively. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Very good. Are you going home? You finished school? No, I'm, I'm, in a, co I'm a college student. Oh, you're a college student. Okay, so college is finished now? Yes. Okay, you're going home? Yes. Okay, stay in college, work hard, study hard, all right? Yeah. See you later. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. hello. How's it going? Hello. How's it going, brother? You good? Shy people, they say hello and then they run away. <laughs> Got some power lines hanging as well. Hopefully they're not live because uh, you'd have a live barbecue out here otherwise. It Going has, back yeah, on there's now. loads of kids out right now. I guess like either college age or school age. Everybody's heading home for the day. It's been a long one. The other thing we noticed is the cages are back on uh, the CNG rickshaws, the auto rickshaws down here. So they've got doors. They've got the cage back in Silet. That was nothing down here. Yeah, you've got the cages back because it's more busier. <laughs> Hello. Mr. Anwar Hussain speaking. Okay, Mr. Anwar Hussain. Good to meet you. Uh, yes. You're okay? You good? Would you like to say something to YouTube? You're okay. Yeah? See you later. Thank you. No, he fell on stop me and my tracks best him and he just wanted to ask what we were doing. But everybody is so friendly. He just wanted so to polite. say hello. You guys, there's so many rickshaws as well. We didn't see so many of these back in Silet. There definitely weren't as many. We've heard that there's some good restaurants down here, so we thought we'd just come out and head along. It looks like there's a few here. This, this, handy. These look cool. I don't know. This is Indian, Chinese. This well, is the same let's see if they're open. Okay, I guess we are going over here to see if they are open or not, but some nice modeling that you've just done i like it and a taste of indian cuisine i mean yeah let's go up and see what they are like hopefully there's some good food there's no menu or anything outside so obviously we're gonna go in and see what it is like but okay so we just come upstairs hopefully we can come and get a table oh one in the corner this will do Hello, thank you. This one? Right, so we've come to a place for handy restaurant. The joint looks really nice though. A meal menu here. We've told when we come out of our hotel, turn left and there should be like some good restaurants. And we were walking for a while actually, I was thinking, where's the restaurants? But this is the first time we've stumbled across, so we thought, let's do it. Let's come check it out, see what it's like. So, we got the menu. Okay, so what have we got? Da, da, da. That, okay, so we got special barbecue, you got kebabs, you got um, more barbecue, I guess, tandoori. Got a selection of chicken, you got beef, mutton, wow, fish, prawn, vegetables. There's a really nice like, selection. Biryani, biryani. salad. Got, okay, right, uh, roll. Oh, I want to see if they've got some of these. Have they got any of these? 
And then you got some uh, drinks and things. Right, so the menu looks quite impressive. Have you got this? Uh, this is a fusca. Yeah, have, do you have it? I have it. Okay, good. And this one called, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay. okay, can we get one, one? <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay, so you guys, this restaurant is actually really cute. There's like a really nice view out of the road. This is perfect for like anyone. Lines. Yeah, and the power lines. Anyone who likes people watching, you'd be well happy here. But I'm going to show you around the restaurant a little bit. So, let me take you first over here. You have like on one side, there's like much bigger tables. I guess this is more for like a group area. Like this is way bigger but maybe the kitchen's just through here i think and then obviously you have like it's all open up here you have like all the other side of the restaurant as well washrooms just in there <laughs> handy <laughs> and then over there you have like all of the um like front desk bit you have all the tables all over here it's actually quite a big restaurant to be honest and then we are sat here, I found you. It's actually just like the whole floor as well. It's a really big like restaurant to be honest. And it's all on the second floor. But also, this is the thing that we've noticed here in Bangladesh. Most food places seem to be on the second floor. Is that a thing? Is that like a, is there a reason for it? Let us know in the comments below because it always I always wonder if that's the thing or not. Here we are waiting for our food. I'm so hungry, so let's go. have some nice conversation. I don't want to sit and watch the TV. I need to talk to you. Yeah, hello. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Very good. Very good. Coming at you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Good, good. And you? Very good. 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 Very very hungry and this is us wasting the battery right now because none of this is going to make it onto the actual <laughs> vlog. So. Thank you. Penny Ooh, porridge. Thank lovely, you. Lovely. Okay, so that is what you use to fill it up. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, this looks good. Dal fushka. And this is Penny puri. Penny puri with the filling. So it comes like this in a little shell. And um, you pop it open. Like so, like demonstrated by the lovely model over here. A few moments later. If you could actually just crack it. Are you done? Or? The one that we had at the street food, it was already popped open and they filled it up for yeah. us. Yeah, this is like self service. Whoa. Okay, and then. You fill it up with as much as you can. And what is this? Uh, these are chickpeas. Chickpeas, chickpeas onions, they've got onions on them, they've got chili? like. Yeah, oh, no, no spring onions. Sure. And then like some crispy noodles they look like, but I don't okay. know what they are. And then you dunk it in. Ooh. What is this, a sauce? Yes, yeah, like some sort of chutney and stuff. And that looks really good. Is? Some other chutney, that's like the sour chutney, I guess. Do you do both or you do whichever one you prefer? I mean, if you can mix them both up together, then you're very talented and skilled. Good job. <laughs> but if I were you, I'd go for one each. So, you got seven. Are they good? Oh my god. So the thing that adds a lot of punch is the chutney. Oh, this is good. I want you to try it. How do you like fit all of that in your mouth? That's that a, like a big... I'm gonna go for the smallest one, otherwise they're like huge. So I have mine, I chose the smallest one actually because otherwise I don't know if I can fit it all in my mouth in one go. These you will big. be able to, you'll be right, don't worry. There's like a middle layer to it as well. I don't know if you can see that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Fill it up as much as you can. Okay, filled up. Now, which Do one? Not. What's the green? Uh, mental. Move, 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 move. Dunk it. Dunk. Done. And now, 
What's the flavor like? Oh my god, this is incredible. Wow. Mmm. So many flavors. That was like incredible. This one on the other hand, it's already got uh, the filling inside. Give it a go. Tell us uh -huh. what it's like. I'm excited but scared. <laughs> go. Big Michael. Sweet? Is it sour? Or is it spicy? Or is a bit of everything going? Mm. Oh my god. That is nice. Wow. That was really nice actually because it's got a bit of yogurt. So it's like a bit cooling. Like. Is it sweet? Satin dish, yeah. It is. Ooh. But it's got the same. It's got like carrots, onions. Oh, look at you. Someone's hungry. Mm. God, 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 God. That's the thing about these things. Once you get hooked on this, you cannot stop. You want to have more and more. And it's so easy to eat as well. It's not exactly heavy. Ain't that right? Mm. Oh my God. Mm. <laughs> what would you rate this out of 10? A 10. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh my goodness, you guys. That was incredible. I have no words. That was so frigging good. I actually think that might be my most favorite food that I think we've ever tried. Like <laughs> on our travels, that was incredible. Wow. Where it's like sat in like the sauce and it's like absorbed it. Oh my God, so many flavors, so good. But now we have the mains, they've arrived and we have butter chicken. Chicken butter masala. Chicken butter chicken masala. Butter masala. Oh, smells really good. This You've already really got some good. on your plate. No, I've started. <laughs> And then we got some plain naan as well to go with it, so... Yeah, the, the Pani Puri and things as a start has set us up real good because it's got me in the mood to eat. Oh, I, mean, I can see chilies in yeah, there. Yeah, there's, there's wow. some chilies in there because I asked them to make it a bit spicy, that's how we like it. But yeah, then Pani Puri and Dai Fushka. Oh my gosh. They set us that's, up good. These naan are so fluffy, like, oh my gosh. It's like, and? oh, wait till you try this. This is so good. In, Go into the and get Chitigong. yourselves down here. The area that we're staying in is called Kotwali. Kotwali. So it's down here. It's by the flyover. Guys, just pop it in Google. You'll find it. It's handy. It's near the Ransom Blue. I'm sure you'll find it super easy. And if you're in Chittagong, you should absolutely make sure that you visit here because, oh, I'm going to tuck in now. The food in Bangladesh is very, very good. Yeah, it's been incredible so far. Mm-hmm. Right here. We don't mind. Fat and happy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. See what I mean? Mm. It's like melting your mouth straight away, isn't it? Oh my god, I think we might come back here for dinner as well. <laughs> and tomorrow for breakfast and tomorrow for lunch mm. and tomorrow for dinner. <laughs> no, like, this food is so good, like it's mm. really really nice. The only thing is, is that they did really put the chilies in this time and like it's, it's hot. Zelpata. Perfect, thank you. That was oh, cute. Sick. Of the traffic, yeah. Watching people dodge the traffic and try to cross from one side to the other, like this guy here, and they just. Perfect harmony in the chaos out there. Seamless. Like everyone is managing themselves. The self management here is absolute top notch. We're waiting for our dessert, you guys. So I will show you as soon as it comes out. Let's See you in a minute. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, guys. We ordered Pandi's special Faluda because we are very partial to a Faluda actually if you haven't realised by now. Ooh. Mm. So what's it made out of for people that don't know what this is? Milk. Milk. It's got fruit. So it's got milk, ice cream oh, somewhere like here. It's if you stop spilling it, that'd be amazing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got some jelly, you've got some fruit. You got a little chocolate roll in there as well. Loving it. Mm. Literally, every single restaurant that you go to or a bakery or a sweet shop down here, they all have the clay pot yogurt. Yeah, in like the clay. I That's think it the adds extra flavour to it, you know? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it probably <laughs> does. I don't know, like everyone does it exactly the same where they've got little clay pots and it's the best thing going. Mm. We love it. It tastes like really fresh, like really natural. Like, do you know sometimes you have yogurt and it like, so it loses its taste because it's been like over processed. Mm. Mm. This is good, huh? Oh, yeah. Rates high. This always rates 10 out of 10. If you guys ever visit Bangladesh, you have to try it. It's called Doi. That is really good. It's like, a, it almost tastes a bit like sour. And it's not like totally mm. smooth. Like it's got a bit of texture to it. Like a bit of... Layers. 
Yeah, like it's just good. That's all I can say. Good for it's it. really nice. But guys, we're gonna put you away while we polish off the blue down the door, so let's go. Okay guys, so we are finished up now. We're just gonna head out. It has been incredible, it's been so yummy, it was mmm delicious, but we're gonna head out now. Thank you very much. Bye. But mmm, that was the food was so very, very good down here. Delicious. We are literally stuffed to the brim. And you guys, we paid 11.95 taka, something like that, 1,100 taka. Oh, that was the best for like nine pounds, which I think is incredible value. We had, we definitely, we recommend coming to Handy when you're down here in Chittagong. We're back out on the noisy streets. I have something in my eye. That was incredible. That was such an experience. I loved it. Happy day, but we're gonna start the walk back to our hotel now. These guys are playing cricket. <laughs> I don't know what they just said, but these guys are playing cricket back there. They're walking through with like some stumps. I waited all day to eat some good food, and it did not disappoint. Bangladeshi food, I'm obsessed. Love it. It does good every time. So <laughs> we're gonna finish the vlog here, guys. If you've enjoyed today's vlog, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe, hit that share and that like. Keep them suggestions and recommendations coming in as well because it gives us a good idea where to go next. And we shall see you 